Hey, this is Caio. And this is Mike. From EssentialDeveloper.com Okay, so a couple of things before we start. We took a five minutes break and we committed our changes so far. And now we have a failing test and we switch. Now Mike is I'm driving. driving and let's carry on. Okay. So we have a failing test. Yeah. Can you explain what's going on there, please? Sure. We wanted to validate that we're routing to the correct question. We implemented the routing to the question, but we are providing a hard-coded value there. So the simple solution would be just to pass Q1, that would make the test pass. However, we are hard coding. Yes, so let's add another test. Let's add another test. Let's call this underscore two. It's like yes. a second Same scenario here. here. Right. But Q2. Yes. And now our test will fail. Yes. So we can get the first question here, the first item of the questions. Yes. Right. Okay. And we can just... Yeah, and since it's an optional, we need to force it. And of course, we're going to get rid of this bang, because of course, it, this is going to crash at some point in runtime. Every time I see a bang in a class, for me, it's an indication that something is not handleable. Maybe there's a test missing, maybe there's a condition missing, but it can lead to a crash. And Someone rushed. <laughs> well, I don't know, <laughs> but... They took the easy yeah. path. <laughs> it's pretty easy in Swift to just uh, put the exclamation point to everything and, you know... And bypass the safeties. Yes, right. <laughs> but we don't want to do that. No, no. Okay. So I think we can stop here and refactor that mm -hmm. because we already know if it's not empty. So the bank is not necessary. What we can do is we can get the first question. And right. if there is one question, you use it. Okay, so let me get this. I can say here, if let question, let's say first question. Questions first, right? Yes. First question. Beautiful. Okay, that looks much better. There's no force on wrapping. We can continue with our test. Next test. Yes. Now I want to see if I have more than one question. Okay. With two questions. Let's see what's happen what happens with two questions. It routes to first question. It routes to first question. So we can have Q1 and Q2. And when we start, I want it to route to Q1. Yes. Right? And I think it does it already. Yes, this does it already. What happens if we call start twice? So if we call start twice, I think the, the, the behavior should be to start again from, from... Yeah, let's say a retry. Let me get this. And we can refactor our test later also. So start, start twice. twice routes to first question. Twice. Yes. So I get I have start and start and I'm expecting Q1 but Yeah, it's time now for us to refactor this test. Mm -hmm. So, again, I would comment out this. Yes. And I'll think about, instead of getting the routed question, I would like to accumulate the routed questions in an array. Yeah. So you can get the count also. Yes. I can change here directly in my spy. Or do you prefer to change it in the test first, the code? I don't want to break the test. I want to do things progressively. Mm -hmm. So let's just add another property there. Okay. This should be questions. Yes, and it's an array of strings. This is an array of string. It starts with an empty array. Yes. Exactly. And every time you wrote your question, you append the question. Yes. Routed 
questions append question yes so, so now, now let's go test by test the first one checks the count is zero now we can check that this array is empty is empty yes and i need to change my assertion to true yes let's run this test yeah okay the one question routes to question yes so now this is question it should be equal to q1 an array with only one item and that is q1 i can come on here routes to question and this is the same practically right now right yes so but let's let's make it pass and then let's let's see it passing first and then we can just remove that okay okay which one should we keep i, I like the correct in the name so i think uh, i can i can remove the first one okay i still think this one is important but we need to change it choose the questions okay with two questions throughout the first question so this is questions okay i don't have the count used anymore so i can get rid of this and you can also get rid of the, the question. Route question yes and it's actually much simpler now it That's is why. lighter okay and again people always ask me so who tests the spy right and for me if you change that a test is going to break so as you are doing tdd this spy is backing up the expectations so if you don't follow tdd yes i wouldn't have confidence on mm -hmm. this spy but since it's this spy is also progressively growing with my code it is I'm being tested happy to use it. it is right and also if it gets very complicated and at some point i start sharing this spy I would probably add tests for it, mm -hmm. but I don't want to have a very complicated spy. Right. It's a smell, I think. If you end up with a with a complicated spy, it means that your design should be... It's probably doing too much. Yeah, yeah. You should okay. look things over, definitely. So I can uncomment this now. And when I'm starting twice with two questions, I'm routing to first question twice. Well, we need to test the capture questions and it should have q1 twice exactly what do you know yeah it's, it's green <laughs> okay yeah that was expected okay so how do we go from q1 to q2 i would say since you tell the router to present a question we should have a way of getting back the answer right provided so maybe we can pass a delegate or we can pass just a closure a closure a block yeah. just a block i think with the with the answer as a parameter yeah that sounds reasonable so like call back i'm gonna i'm gonna just spike here for a second so this is like the answer callback right yes do you mean something like this yes you get a string back well if we're gonna use the answer as a string as well which for at least this version and for our purposes right now i think it's, it's the simplest thing to do yeah okay so let me just revert this so my router would need if we if we were to have a callback here right it would probably need to capture this callback so we can fire it so we can fire it exactly yeah let's let's do it okay so i can have something like answer callback and this can be a i said we want the answer and return nothing and this whole thing i'm just gonna do it as an optional for now because so far we don't need it I think that's a big difference if you're testing object C or Swift. Mm -hmm. In object C, you always would test the new case. But since here, we're not going to make this optional. Mm -hmm. The compiler is going to enforce that it's not yeah. going to be optional. We're not going to write this test. Yeah, exactly. 
And now we can say something like answer, whoops, answer call bug equals answer call bug. Yeah, if you have one. Yeah, and we need one. And this is a string. And it's not optional. To avoid, and it is not optional. Okay, um, but. Okay, there's something else going on here. We need this to be escaping, right? Because yes, we're because we're capturing it. But now we have to think we make this escaping for our spy, mm -hmm. but this is going to have to leak in the protocol. Mm -hmm. Is this the behavior we want? I think it is because when you have a game and you have a flow and you're passing a block, you are allowing it not to reply straight away. You say, hey, it's fine to hold this block yep. and invoke it when you're ready to give me an answer. Yeah. And I think that's fine. I don't think that's a leak. I think that's a behavior. And, it, and Swift really help us to express this idea. Yes, it's fine to hold this block for as long as you want and you invoke it. Yeah. And we should say that this is just one of many options and possible ways to implement this, right? We could pass a type instead of just disclosure. But mm -hmm. Yeah, happy to carry on. Okay, so... The escaping should be close to the definition of the type. That's it. Okay. Okay, let's add this to the protocol now. Okay. And now the compiler is forcing you to give a callback. Uh huh. Well, since it's the last one, we could omit this name. Yes. Can do this syntax, right? Yeah, since it's the last parameter of this function. And now it complains about the yes. parameter. No build errors. Okay. Let's create this test. Where are we going to start? Give it an answer. Okay. So let's say test start. Well, let's say start and answer first question. Answer first question. With Given two questions. Two yes. questions. It routes to second question. Exactly. So now we will start and the start becomes part of our given part. And now the router. And we need to pass an answer. Yeah, I just name it A1 for now. And this guy is complaining because it's because this is optional, which is fine for my test. Yes, it is fine, but since this is not optional mm -hmm. in our production code, we can we can let's not force it. Why don't we give it a yeah. default a default value, right? Yeah. Okay, I can do that. So I can give it a value right here. And now, now we can get rid of the bank. Yes. So when I answer, I want to be routed to Q1 and Q2, Q2 yes. because Q1 was fired by the start method. Exactly. Gonna have a failing test hopefully and i do yes perfect okay make it pass well the easiest thing to do here is to route again inside the block inside the block okay okay and that's the next question we need well but if we use q2 now yes we are cheating and that's not allowed in tdd rules mm -hmm. so we can get the next question based on the index of the first one or some other way yes okay let me i'm just gonna have a next question here okay okay and then uh again i don't need that i can do this the next question is questions let me get the index first is the question can get the index directly, right? Index of first, first question. question. And this returns an optional. Yes. And that's the index of the first question. Yes. Okay. So now questions first question index. Um, plus plus one. one. Okay, so now this goes here. Perfect. 
So the problem here, I guess, is that we need self, right? Because we're capturing self inside the block. Yeah, so now we need to think about memory. Yes, and router the same, yes. Yeah, but now we need to think that we are capturing this self in there strongly, mm -hmm. and we have a reference to router, so and router cycle. is holding this, so we have a return cycle there. Yeah. We need to make this weak. Can weakify? Or we can call it unknown. Weak creates an optional. Yes. But if you make it unknown, you're just telling the compiler, I know what I'm doing. Exactly. This is never going to be executed yep. in the case that this was dialogued. So Yeah, but you can crash the app. I never know if I'm if it's gonna crash. That's the problem there. But we can say since you have a reference to the router and you are passing this message there, it means that the router is never gonna be dialogued while this flow leaves in memory. The problem is if the router passes this block to someone else, mm -hmm. they may, may have a problem. But we prefer to have it as weak okay. and have a guard. So let's add a weak reference. Okay, let's. Else you return. Tomato is done. Okay, let me just finish this. I want the strong self here, and the strong self here, and the strong self here. Run the test. So now, if I run, I should be passing. And I am. Okay. Happy to commit here? Yeah. So, we reached this point that we have to find a way to continue to the next question, or the next part of the flow. Yes, and I don't like where this code is going, actually, yeah. because... It's ugly, first of all. It's very ugly. There's a lot of force and wrapped yep. optionals. And also, well, it's not going to scale no. for a bunch of questions, Would right? You're yeah. going to have to copy and paste this for as many questions we have. We need some kind of recursion. There. Yeah, yeah. Some sort of progressing to the next one uh, recursively. Yes. Okay, I think that's our goal for the next tomato. Let's grab a coffee. Okay. Come back. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm.